this character, Reynolds Woodcock, uh, and you, I would say, are both great artists known for a certain intensity, uh, you know, perfectionism, which is a great, great thing. Um, how similar is your way of working to Reynolds Woodcock's? Um, well, um, it, it, <laughs> It's, 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 it's similar in how seriously we take the work, but not at all similar in how seriously we take ourselves, I would say. Um, that I think I don't, I don't know. Um, Reynolds, is, Reynolds needs silence. I grew up in a house of nine kids, and I have four of my own. So I, the, the working environment is drastically different. But, um, and I probably make the most noise at breakfast for anybody who's seen it. <laughs> With toast, yeah. but 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 there is there are very strong parallels, obviously, between when you when you when you when you care about your work so much and and your work and your life are um, are, are one and the same. That they're, they're there's they're very difficult to separate. There's no separation um, for me. You know, I don't have any hobbies besides doing this. This is what I do. Right. This is my life. This is visually such a gorgeous film. Part of that is the costumes. Mark Bridges also nominated for that. Um, and also, though, just the way it's shot and the way people are shot and food and everything, it's so lovingly done. And I understand that you were the DP yourself on this. How did that come to be? Well, it, it, it would be taking too much credit to call me the, the, the director of photography. I worked with four or five guys for many, many years now. We've done a lot of side projects, and it was just a natural extension of that. I suppose that the, the reality is, is that we all did the work that we would normally do. We just didn't, we didn't collaborate with a, a cinematographer. Um, and it was a challenge that I put to myself, I suppose, and, and the rest of these guys, Michael Bauman, Colin Anderson, Eric Brown, and Jeff Kunkel, and it was something that scared the hell out of us, but, um, but that was good. That was really, really good. Um, you, you need those kinds of things, or at least I do, going into a film, sort of feeling as if you're walking a tightrope and you're, you're challenging yourself to do things. And um, yeah, I'm really proud of us that we did it, actually. Last question for now, until we, re we meet again a little bit later. Uh, we have been the, the, We should have a rotating stage. I know. <laughs> it would be better if it's like, and the next right. contestant is Greta Gerwig right. from Sacramento, California. Greta Gerwig, come on down. Come on down. Well, <laughs> that, that is, we'll, we'll think about that for next year. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> um, but, you know, I hate to end on a little bit of a sad note, but we un, we've been told that this is going to be the last film performance we will ever see from Daniel Day-Lewis. Do you buy that? And what can you do? To, to change that? Well, um, I do buy it. I do buy it. And luckily, we've got like a long line of DVDs and Blu rays that we can all go back to and be happy that we have. Um, what can I do about it? At the moment, nothing. Maybe when the smoke clears, I can kind of try to talk him back into something. But at the moment, I think we're all just going to have to like grin and bear it. Um, it, it is sad to think about because I still think there's, there's more left. But, you know, we, we should really just be so happy for what he's given us. It's kind of amazing to think about. And he's been acting since he was, he was a child. So it's been a long and amazing career. I mean, I think we're just so, so happy that we've as audiences who love movies have been able to be in this time where we got to see Daniel Day-Lewis movies in the theater. Well, thank you for giving us two of the great ones. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Thomas Anderson. Thank you.